I think he is in the conversation of being the best of all time. I think he's the best of all time that's ever been undefeated. Okay. And it's only been two fighters that's been undefeated. And Rocky Marciano. Right. Um, so I think he's definitely in the discussion. Um, again, I think sometimes we, we look for a little bit of adversity to strike some of our, <clears throat> some of our people that, that we look up to to see how they bounce back. Right. And unfortunately, in his defense, you know, not like, you know, they're not out there. He's just not had anybody that's really had him in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To where he had to, you know, show the heart uh, aside of what's the name? Not saying he doesn't have heart because obviously he's got heart. He's 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 45 and 0. You know what I'm saying? And he's a machine. He's a monster. He's a master at his craft. I, I don't think he uh, trains. I don't think he trains for an opponent. I think he trains, and once he gets in the ring, sees what you're trying to do, and that's just takes all, that away from that's you. That's what he says all the time. You know what I'm saying? I think he just takes that away from you, and that being that 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 mental right there is far and beyond any you know fighter I've probably know of. So no, you go first this time. So the boy's the truth. Look, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is a great technician. Mm -hmm. He is a great defensive fighter. I still wonder greatly about his punching power, as do a lot of people. But what I wonder the most about is, has he ever fought a worthy challenger? Has he ever had a Joe Frazier or a George Foreman or a Ken Norton on his resume? Can you look back and, and you yes, say, I can. who? Diego Corrales. He okay. was undefeated. God rest his soul. He passed away in a motorcycle okay. accident, if I remember correctly. The dude was undefeated. He was a champion. He was a knockout artist. Okay. And, I, get, and, and, I got and, it. I don't know because the dude was, passed away. It, I, I'm not sure what he would have become. Oh, okay. 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 So I'm talking about I, what he was at the time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I got it. But but a lot of people point to to Oscar De La Hoya. He's at the end of the run. I, I think that was more of a money fight, so to speak, right. for money. I would agree. But and, I would say know? that's not to, that's not his okay. fault, though. You okay. know what I'm saying? So it's kind of yeah. a catch-22 because and that's not his I've, fault. All he can do is box this. who get into okay. the ring. But you and I have talked about this. Right. You gained respect for Ali because he avenged some losses. Exactly. Okay. He, he, exactly. he went back and beat exactly. Joe Frazier. About and he beat Ken Norton. Up. And he beat Leon Spinks for what that was worth. And at the time, it was worth a whole lot. Right. But, but this guy has been so dominant that there's never been a reason for a big rematch because he basically dominated. I, I can go right down the list. We know all the, the fighters. Right. I'm still not sure there's a superstar on the resume. Mm. Philadelphia Eagles played in the Super Bowl in 2004, I believe, against the New England Patriots in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm at a club and... You? Yes. You don't go out. A after midnight? Uh, yes. No. Yes. And, and, and Floyd is about to fight Arturo Gatti. Mm -hmm. God rest his soul, died recently, a couple years ago. Floyd's about to fight him, and I'm like, this dude is like the modern-day Rocky at the time. You know, watch yourself with this dude. <laughs> Floyd sitting there and grabs me and says, ain't no dude, and that's not the word he used. He said, ain't no dude with six losses gonna beat me. Don't yeah. you even worry about it. And that's been Floyd's attitude. Mm -hmm. If you have a loss on your resume, as far as Floyd is concerned, you just need to add to that list because somebody else has figured you out, so he's damn sure going to figure you out. That's how he thinks. Okay. When it comes to you being undefeated, you walk up in there, you ready for prime time, you go up against this dude, Skip, he is a magician. Mm -hmm. He's not a technician. He's a magician. This dude picks you apart. And by the way, he must have some kind of power because no one walks through him to get him. Right. They don't walk through him to get him. Whatever it is that he's doing, he embarrasses dude. It's like he reminds you. This is what I think. You see guys with knockout power, and obviously we want to see that in a pugilistic sport, and we appreciate it. But what he makes us appreciate, as far as I'm concerned, is the Skills. art of boxing. Exactly. He reminds us it's boxing. I'm supposed to hit you without you being able to hit me. Well, I was, That's what I'm supposed to be but doing. But he's in the conversation. He's a, he's to in the even conversation. be in the conversation yeah. with Muhammad Ali should be He's on another level. I'm just enough. saying, I'm okay. just saying, he, the, the, the fights are not boring because these dudes can't fight. The fights are boring because they are significantly inferior to this magician. Right. He makes these fights boring because they literally 
cannot touch him. Well, okay. I, I would just say him. the only reason where somebody may question that is only because <laughs> of the fact of adversity. Just picking yourself up because, you know, we're the country of we love to come back. Right. We love to see because remember everybody when, fails. They feel like when, everybody fails at some point in time. And to watch somebody that probably has never failed, right. You know, you kind of look at it like, oh, okay, when well. When Sugar Shane Mosley hit him in the second round no. of their fight no. and stunned him. Zap. And, 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 and when, they, when they stunned him, I saw Floyd go to the stool, mm -hmm. sit down, sit back up, and come out there and pick them apart. I mean, right. just annihilated them. Right. That's what I'm talking about. And so it was a touch of adversity. But then he erases it. Well, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I, when I say that, I'm saying him going into the late rounds being down and needing to win these last three rounds in order to win. And it's just a, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, and it's to his credit. It's not his fault. I, I, okay. no, it is not his fault okay, but, that but he does not have if we get back to the that. eye test, yeah. and you and I have done this before, and I don't want to start it up again, he's not better than Muhammad Ali was at his best pre-conscientious objecting. Okay. He just not. And I believe that Sugar, Ray, Sugar Ray Leonard would have knocked out Floyd Mayweather just on pure punching power, could have mashed his magician skills.